Hi everyone, I'm Hanisha, Culinary Consultant, KitchenAid India. I'm going to be talking about the Maximum Extraction Juicer. Uh, as you can see, it has an extremely compact, stylish design, but it's also premium die-cast metal construction, which makes it extremely durable and stable. It has a two-stage juicing technology wherein there's a slicing blade that pre-slices your fruit and vegetables and then there's an ogre that pushes it for maximum extraction. Also, it has three different screens, a high pulp, a low pulp and a sauce screen. So juicing any kind of fruits and vegetables to pulps and sauces, everything can be done with this. I'm basically going to show you how to assemble this and start it. When you receive the package, it's going to be in the packaging. Everything is going to be disassembled. So let's go about assembling the product first. Make sure before assembling, the rubber gasket on the base of the bowl is inserted into place. Push it down and press it into place. Push the chute back and place the bowl on. It fits and locks in place. It has a 1 litre capacity and is BPA free. We're then going to place the wiper basket. Again, can be placed in any way, followed by the screen. If you see, the screen has markation of a red triangular arrow and also on the bowl itself. So make sure the arrows are aligned together and place it in. Once the arrows are aligned, you know it's in the right spot. We can now place in the blade and the ogre. It has to insert holes where you pick it up from and place it in to avoid cutting your fingers. You can now place the lid. The lid locks into place. It has a two-in-one mouth feed. So ideally, if you have larger pieces, you could put it through this. If you have smaller pieces, you could remove it and put it through the center. Place the lid and lock it in place till you hear that click. We have two pitchers that come with it. One, a large one that can be placed here for the pulp and a smaller one which is placed in the juicer cavity to collect the juice. Both are BPA free plastic. The one that collects your juice has measure marking so you can actually scale the amount of juice. Also comes with an extremely neat lid so after you've actually collected your juice you could store it in the fridge for use later. We also have a foam screen, which is an attachment that fits over your juicing pitcher. It's ideal to skim off any excess foam or small seeds in pith that you would prevent from going into the juice. It's not essential to use, but completely your choice. If you like a high pulp juice, particularly like orange, it's advisable not to use the screen. But things like pineapple, cucumber that tend to create a foam, I always use the screen with it. It comes with a really neat cleaning brush. So if you see, it has bristles on this end and it has a curved scraper here, which is to get into all crevices and cracks and clean it extremely well. All of this is dishwasher safe and can be washed in the top rack of your dishwasher. We also have this neat storage case for our screens. So I've actually placed the high pulp inside. I have here the low pulp and the saw screen, which can be easily stored and put. Let's get juicing. Um, I'm going to start with the orange juice since I have the high pulp screen inside already. I'm not going to be using the foam screen because I like a pulpy orange juice, so I'm going to leave this aside. If you see, this is where we have our power button. So if you see, if we push it to the left, you can power it on. And if you push it to the right, it has a reverse function. So in case you have any fruit, vegetables jamming up inside, you can put it on reverse action to release it. Also, when you're juicing, ensure that the shoot here is completely pushed in or else all your pulp will start collecting inside. You only want your pulp to collect inside when you're actually using the saw screen. But with the low pulp and the high pulp screens, make sure your shoot is pushed into place. Let's power it on. Pop in the oranges. and use the feed tube to guide it through. Okay. 
So if you see the wiper gasket is actually moving everything along the sides and cleaning and pushing it through and here is where we have our pulp coming out and our clear juice on this end. We now have the fresh orange juice that's ready to drink or you could put the lid on and store it in the fridge for use later. In case you have any juice dripping in the tray, you can remove the tray and easily wash it. All our pulp has collected in this pitcher which can be discarded. Let's have our orange juice now so that we can move on to the next screen. We're now going to make a pineapple, cucumber and spinach juice. For this, I'm going to use the low pulp screen. If you see, all the screens have them marked on them as low pulp, high pulp or sauce. Again, align the arrows and place it in. Place the ogre in. And we can attach the lid back on. Lock it in place. We're going to use the hopper along with the lid now and place the mouth feed. What the hopper is going to help us with any large pieces of the fruit and vegetable, we can actually start piling them and sliding them in. Also, what's great about the two-state juicing technology of this juicer, it's first slicing your fruit and then extracting the juice. So it's actually speeding up the process and reducing your prep work. Since we're doing a fruit and vegetable juice and I'm using the low pulp screen, I actually also want to use the foam screen now. Uh, pineapples, cucumber tend to have a lot of foam, so this will skim my foam off. Let's get started with juicing. Pop in pieces of cucumber, pineapple, followed by some spinach. Guide it through with the mouth feed. You can now add some celery. You can place your fruit and veggies on the hopper and slide it in slowly. You can see it extracts juice out of green leafy vegetables very easily. In case you feel there's any fruit or vegetable jamming up, you can simply go to the reverse and then power it on again. Let the juicer run for a couple of seconds before you switch the power off. You can see that our pulp is being collected on this end and our clear juice which is being collected here and the foam being skimmed on top. We can move the foam to the side. And our healthy green juice is ready. Our green juice is now ready to drink. You can see how thin and clear it is, which is all because of the low pulp screen. In case you're looking at a high pulp juice, make sure you're using the high pulp screen. Now that we've done our green juice, we can move on to our strawberry yogurt. For the strawberry yogurt, I'm going to need a strawberry puree or a strawberry sauce. And for this, I'm going to be using the sauce screen. We can place the sauce screen similarly with the arrows meeting each other. Place the blade and ogre in and lock the lid on again. Make sure when you're using the saw screen, the shoot is pulled out so that all the pulp collects inside and is not wasted. 
we can see here the two mouth feet. Since we're using strawberries, we can use the smaller one. In case there are larger fruits or pieces, you can use the large mouth feet. Use the mouth feed tube to guide it through. You can see again, the scraper pulls it along the bowl and make sure everything is getting mixed. You can see how our strawberry pulp or puree has collected all in all in this jar and we have no pulp wasted. I'm going to use the strawberry puree and add it to some sweetened yogurt. Just mix it through. You could leave it a little marbled for it to look like this. Pour it into a bowl. You can serve the yogurt chilled, garnished with some mint sprigs. So we can see the maximum extraction juicer can do all kinds of fruit and vegetable juices and also purees and sauces. You could be making jams with the purees or cakes. What's great is when maximum extraction juicer it extracts any kind of juice, there's no creation of heat. So the natural vitamins and nutrients of the vegetables and fruits are not getting damaged. It's a must have in any kitchen when you're trying to be healthy.